This news at 11. This is brand new video you're seeing as a Niagara Falls police officer, once charged with felony assault, walked into Wheatfield Town Court tonight, where he admitted to beating a man with his motorcycle helmet during a road rage incident. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins back from court tonight with more on this. Yeah, Joanna, tonight the felony charge was dropped, but the officer did plead guilty to reckless assault, which is a misdemeanor. This happened back on September 5th. Conti was off duty at the time. Investigating say for the 48 year old 20 plus year veteran of the Niagara Falls Police Department used his motorcycle helmet to beat a man unconscious in a wheat filled parking lot following that road rage incident. At that time, Conti was charged with felony assault. Shortly after the incident, the Niagara Falls Police Department launched their own internal investigation and placed Conti on unpaid administrative leave. I spoke to Conti's attorney following his court appearance tonight. He did not have to uh, allocute as to what he specifically did, but the conduct would be that he recklessly swung his helmet. He's glad it's behind him. It's a simple assault, and it's essentially over. Now, this road rage incident was not the first time Conti was the subject of a Niagara Falls Police Department internal investigation. In 1997, he was suspended for three days after shooting and wounding a dog he claimed tried to bite him. In 2001, he faced allegations of police brutality after a woman claimed Conti handcuffed and beat her when he responded to her 911 call over a stolen wallet. The officer was cleared of any wrongdoing in both incidents, but the city still had to pay more than $22,000 to settle the woman's case and also had to cover the dog's vet bills. Conti is due back in court on January 19th. In the meantime, he remains suspended from Niagara Falls Police Department. Conti's victim was in the courtroom today. We spoke to him off camera. However, he did not want to comment on the case. Joe Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.